Hello and welcome to Emma Reads Reddit. Today I'm reading from r slash ask reddit. But first, let's play r slash drunk or a kid. I screamed at my baby cousin. I screamed at my baby cousin because he was whining about the fact that he wanted the ball that I was playing with and I wouldn't let him have it. What do you guys think, drunk or a kid? Let's find out at the end of the video. This one was posted by user Stan849. Barbers of Reddit, what was your oh shit moment? My co-worker at a salon was cutting a girl's hair and found lice. The girl's mom had left her for the trim and she had to wait for her mom in the lobby. We spent the next hour or so frantically cleaning around all of the other clients and stylists to sanitise the whole place top to bottom. When the mom came back and asked her why she didn't have her hair cut, she replied, they found out. Who brings their lice-ridden child to the salon? Not only that, but she left her daughter there to deal with it on her own. I am one of them. My dad, fully knowing I had lice, took me to the barbershop to get my hair cut. When I told him, no, I have lice, he said, just don't let them find out or tell them. Knowing previous experiences, I had to comply because he has a short fuse when something doesn't go his way. My dad can be pretty stupid and it's annoying when he thinks he's on top of the world. Not me, but my mum, who is a hairdresser. Did you know that some hair dye chemicals don't play well together? Turns out the lady had used some sort of home hair dye chemical that basically has tiny bits of metal in it. She didn't mention. My mum goes to dye her hair and puts the professional dye on it and the hair more or less starts melting as the dye reacts. Her hair was totally ruined. There was no saving it. Only thing to do was to get the new dye off as fast as possible. She was pretty understanding about the whole situation though. Also a stylist, but this reminds me of a story from one of my instructors. Lady comes into the school and wants highlights, I think. Oh, or it might have been a colour remover actually now that I'm really thinking of it. Box colour black wants to be lighter in the short of it, I suppose. Now this particular instructor has been teaching for like 20 plus years and she insists on doing a strand test. They take a bit of hair, put the colour remover on it in a foil and it starts smoking, like immediately. They open the foil and the hair is white in like a minute, but also fried beyond repair. Chemical reactions are wild. Barbara my dad took us kids to growing up kept a plastic ear in a in a big glass jar of water, told all the little kids, jokingly, that it was the ear of a little boy who wouldn't be still when getting a haircut, and he accidentally cut this kid's ear off. He said he was keeping it in formaldehyde to remind us all to be very still. It largely had the desired effect on the younger kids. I'm not a licensed barber or professional by any means, but I have been cutting my own hair for about 10 years. I'm really good at it, save a lot of time and money, know exactly how to do it and never have to worry about getting something I don't like anymore. But it's taken a lot of trial and error over the years, especially when I was learning how to fade. This was three years ago. I start cutting like I normally do and start fading my sides. At the top of my head, the guard pops off. Huge fucking chunk falls down my face. So me, still learning, not knowing how to fix it, decides it's best to buzz it, which I really only had to do three times in my career. I look dumb as shit with a buzz head, so for some unknown reason, I also decided to shave my beard, thinking maybe it'll equal it all out. Nope. Apologies if this offends anyone, but I look like I'm receiving chemo at this point. Bro, I look like a thumb. Big toe looking ass. So I hated myself. My wife still makes fun of me to this day. I got endless shit from my family and was attached to a hat for like two months. This was the moment that made me never fuck up again. Brother of a barber who used to be a hair model back when I used to have a good head of hair. His instructor told a story during one of the shows about a mobster falling asleep during a shave. While shaving him, he accidentally cut off a mole. He said he kept on putting towels on him and then snuck across the street and hid in a bar watching through the window until the mobster left. <laughs> Since he was only renting the chair in the shop, he grabbed all his stuff and found another place to work after he was sure the mobster was gone. Man, I hope that was true. Not the barber in this story. My younger sister was. This story happened about 38 years ago, so I'm recalling as best as I can remember. 
Among our friend group was a very sweet young man we will call Bubba. A little heavy and not the sharpest tool in the shed, but a sweet, good hearted guy. Bubba's hair hung in his face, which drove Sissy nuts. We should note that he had a huge crush on Sissy. One evening, we were sitting around my parents' dining room table playing spades. That's a card game. As always, Bubba's hair was hanging over his eyes. Sissy was practically twitching watching him brushing it away every 30 seconds. Finally, she spoke up and said, Bubba, you need a haircut. Let me just trim your bangs. Of course, he immediately agreed. Scissors and a towel were quickly tracked down and Sissy started clipping. It was uneven and kind of patchy. This isn't going well. One of my genius friends spoke up and said it ain't even, but I got an idea. Don't trim anymore for a minute. Dude pulls my mom's a biscuit mixing bowl out of the cupboard and plunks it on poor Bubba's head. There, just cut across. And she did. Then cut straight across the back. The oh shit moment happened when Sissy took the bowl off Bubba's head and we realised she had given poor Bubba a literal bowl cut. He looked like the Dutch boy Pink Kid's pothead cousin. One time I was doing clipper over comb to blend a client's haircut and I sneezed unexpectedly. I made a hole in the side of his head. I turned him around and tried to blend it in the best I could but the damage was done. When I was like five I decided to steal the kitchen scissors, give myself a haircut and then hide the hair in a toy purse. Once I realised what I looked like, I went up to my mum and told her I needed to go get another haircut. You can imagine her reaction. I was the client in the situation. My hairstylist was doing a usual cut on me and when she was cutting around one of my ears, her scissors caught onto the top inch or so of the cartilage, like the actual top part of the ear. She kept cutting harder and harder trying to get this thick hair knot cut. It took me saying, ow, for her to realise she was cutting my ear. No blood, no cut. Just a really bendy ear. She was distracted talking to my mom since I was like in middle school at the time. She never stopped saying it every time I get my hair done. Hasn't happened since either. Licensed cosmetologist here. During my very first men's haircut when I was in school, I accidentally cut this guy's skin tag off. I was absolutely horrified, but he was super nice about it and was genuinely stoked he only had to pay $5 plus tip to get it removed. That's the only real oh shit moment that's been my fault that I can think of. I've had plenty, if not too many, what the fuck moments though. When I suddenly have a heart attack before finishing my client's cut. Barber here, I'm pretty experienced and a successful barber with my own place, but I definitely made some mistakes along the way. This story still makes me die inside a little. When I was training, maybe a few months in, so I had a bit of confidence. Enough for me to not realise I still didn't know what I was doing. I was cutting this guy's hair and I got to his fringe. He wanted it really short and I was standing in front of him, cutting along his forehead whilst chatting away. I took my scissor away to comb his hair but like, flick them around my fingers and they swung around and hit the guy right in the fucking iris. I froze. He froze. Eventually I asked, did I just hit you in the eye by the way? He said, I think so. Trying to act like it wasn't sore for some reason, it eventually blew up in the shop once his shock wore off and someone else got him out of the door. Found out a month later his wife was a nurse and she used some kind of eye drop and his eye was only scratched. Thank God because I thought I'd blinded him. I gave him a free haircut next time. Just the one though. Now it's time to find out who it was that screamed at their baby cousin. Was it a drunk or a kid? It was a kid. I was indeed a child when this happened. My mother yelled at me for a while and my other cousin resorted to covering her ears. Thank you for watching this video. If you've enjoyed what you have heard, please like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss any of the daily content from Emma Reads Reddit. See you tomorrow.